Hi guys, welcome back. Sorry, I'm a little bit sniffly because uh, I think I'm sick. Either that or the heater has been too strong and it's making my nose crack. Like yesterday I was in the shower and I just kept bleeding and I was like washing my face and the blood was just all over my hands. I was like, oh my god, I'm dying! Vampire facial, guys. Not really, it was kind of gross. But yeah, I'm a little bit sniffy today. I honestly think I should use my humidifier more, which is the first tool, honestly, I would say the most effective skincare tool you can get is a humidifier for yourself. Like do yourself that favor and not have like cracky nose and cracky skin. If you are new to this, thing here in my channel. Uh, I talk about skincare, beauty, and wellness, and if you like that, go ahead and click subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything. Today we're going to talk about all of my favorite beauty tools, like specifically skincare because, you know, hair care and makeup has its own like tools. Speaking of beauty tools, this is the biggest tool right here. Let's just get started. So since you guys like my skincare recommendations, a lot of you guys have been asking for, I guess, more in-depth stuff about skincare. And I do love skincare, honestly, and I do actually love makeup and everything too, but I want to do more videos on skincare. I feel like I've done so many in the past that I don't do them regularly because I'm like, oh, I already talked about that before. But times have changed and my skincare routine, my products, my tools have changed. So I want to share more with you. And skincare devices, right? I feel like these are kind of like extras you don't really need them, like you don't need anything, but it's nice to have extras if you can afford them. And if you want to play around with something and sort of enhance your skincare routine, I would say these are really not necessary. If you have a good consistent skincare, good cleansing and good sunscreen, I feel like that's like the basic. But if you want to try out different devices, I have a lot that I've tried. And a lot of this I've amassed for six years to now. So it's not a kind of product where like, oh, I went out and bought all of these together. So you definitely don't need to go out and just purchase all of these obviously because it's according to your needs and your skin type. Let's just start with the cleansing devices because I feel like those are quite popular and they have been quite popular for years now. This is the Clarisonic, the Mia Smart. I actually purchased this on Ulta. I went in store and I was like, oh, they have a massage head one now and I just bought it with the massage head and the brush. Now I've been using the Clarisonic for as long as I can remember when I was in skincare. It was my first big splurge for skincare devices and at the time I used the deep pore cleansing brush with the blue head. So this tool has a lot of nostalgia for me and when it came out with the Mia Smart with the massaging head, I was like, okay, I need to try this out. I quite like it. It just massages your face and it gives you like a massage and it's good for under the eyes if you put on oil you can sort of aid circulation it helps with how glowy your skin is and it sort of vibrates so it helps better than your fingers or your hands i find that hands are good for massages like your knuckles is already really good if you have oil and you just go all around. So do I think this is like necessary? No, I don't really think it's necessary. Does it help when I'm watching TV shows and I just go like this? Yes, it definitely does help. I will say that I'm no longer using the bristles, the brush anymore. I find that it's quite abrasive now. And maybe I haven't tried the soft bristle head, but I find that the brushes are a little bit too sharp, especially around the eyes, I feel like. But if you want to continue using it around your body, why not? I think if you already have it, I, f I find that a lot of people have the Clarisonic. So it's really up to you. I think it's an okay device. Similar to the Clarisonic is the Foreo. Luna, they have different devices now. They have an LED one that you sort of like go around your face. It's called the UFO or something, but this is like the OG cleansing device. Oh yeah, these are both waterproof, by the way. So you can use this in the shower, and I find that these bristles are a little bit more sanitary, easier to dry and clean. It just lasts longer. Also, the battery. This one, you can apply oil and also massage, like when you turn it on, just massage as well. So I would say they're very similar in terms of performance and price also. It's honestly up to you, whichever you want to go for. I am right now gravitating towards this because like I said, it feels more sanitary as it dries down quicker and it's just more sleek, like it's tiny. I can travel with it. This one has a charging stand and when you have a lot of tools, the cables add up. Like it's just like a bunch of cables and that's not fun. So I'm gravitating towards this a little bit. More. Yeah, I've had this one for a couple years now. It still works. Next up for massage tools. I hate using the word tool. Okay, I'm not gonna say massage devices. Devices, because tools makes me sound like such a tool. I like this Laneige Time Freeze 
face fit roller. You've seen me use this in a lot of videos. It really does help puffiness and also relaxes a little bit of my jaw muscles right here. It's meant for like a V-line, you know, like how Asians like that tiny lower jaw thing. It is quite cold to the touch, so whenever you start using it, it will help to puff. And it fits nicely with the contours of the face. It will kind of grip grip your face as you go. It's a weird feeling. They recommend that you go upwards this way, like that. The construction is quite sturdy. I've had this for two years, and I got it on Yesta. I, I'm not sure if they discontinued it because I didn't see them selling anymore, which is why I'm really glad I got it. So you just go like this and then go down the neck, like a lymphatic drainage massage. And it does help with puffiness and dark circles if you're consistent with it. Like with all these devices, I think consistency is key. You're not gonna see results with one use that would be just kind of ridiculous. I feel like with all of these, if you're gonna use it almost every day, yeah, then yeah, they're worth it. If you're just gonna purchase them and let them sit and use it like every once a month, like I feel like you're better off not getting them. So it is very like diligence and uh, discipline. So this one I really enjoy. You can use it alone, you can use it with a face cream, you can use it as on the last step with a sleeping mask or an oil. I really enjoy this. Similarly, this is the Gua Sha tool. You can get this for fairly inexpensive. This one is rose quartz. I don't know if it's real rose quartz or it's just like imitation. It is quite cold to the touch, so I don't really know. You can get this on Amazon or you can. Goop probably has one of these for like $10,000. Yeah, if you want to get it from Goob like, and Gwyneth Paltrow's uh, bullshit website, you can get one as well. I don't remember where I got this, but it's a very good massage tool, I think. It kind of like contours the face really well. One thing I will say with Gua Sha is that traditionally in Chinese medicine, they Gua Sha till you bruise. Traditionally, it's said to clear toxins. And I really hate that word toxins because it doesn't really mean anything unless you describe what the toxins are. But in Chinese medicine, it's said to draw stagnant blood. So you can use this on your back or like on your body or anywhere you're having sores. But on your face, you want to just be gentle and just kind of feel yourself out. You know, once it starts hurting, you know you're doing something wrong. But on the body, go for it. Have a felt day. For your body, you can also use coins to sort of gua sha. That's what my dad used to do for me. Let's get into the more nitty gritty like stuff. This is the derma roller. You guys probably have seen derma rolls all around. I use the banish one, and I don't remember what the millimeter is, but I just spray it with alcohol every time I use it. Now, derma rolling has been popular for a, quite a bit now, so I don't feel like I need to describe it as much. It is collagen induction therapy, and what it does, it just creates tiny micro channels in the skin, so your skin has the opportunity to repair itself. So I use this on my scalp and also on my face probably like every two, three weeks, not that often. Like I said, I use an alcohol spray to disinfect it. I would say it does help with the texture just a tiny bit, but after that you want to go in with a vitamin C serum to kind of seal everything in. You're not going to see results, I think, after the first try. You probably will see it in like four or five months, which is kind of worth it in my opinion because they're not that expensive. You can find a lot of them on Amazon and eBay, but for safety reasons, I just go with the one that I trust, which is Spanish. Do your own research about it and start with a short of mil millimeter first, okay? Like 0 0.05 or 0 0.1, I think, and then go up there. Always start lower, always patch test with any of these tools to see if you get any adverse reactions. Before I forget, I want to say that I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not an esthetician, so these are just anecdotal. And since I do a lot of skincare videos, I want to be transparent with what I use, and this is not medical advice. If you have severe acne or severe skin issues, please consult a doctor. I just wanna be completely transparent with what I use and my experience with it. Next up, this is a very simple yet effective beauty tool. This is the blackhead, whitehead, sebaceous filament, pimple popper unit. It's just good for days where I wanna sort of like extract a little bit. I don't extract that much, but after the shower and if it's a really, really yellow head just waiting for me to pop it, they're like, pop me Ivan, pop me! Then I will kind of like gently just extract it with the loop head. Very useful, 
classic. After I pop, I usually just apply a little bit of either the Centella Blemish Cream from Cosrx or I will go in with a patch, like a acne patch to sort of draw out all of that plasma. Okay, this tool I really enjoy, this device. It's called the Ultrasonic Blackhead Scrubber. They have different names for it. It's also called like a scaling device for the skin. But what it does is just when you apply water on your face, you kind of go over your skin and you'll see like water sort of splashing out and then you apply a tiny bit of pressure at a 45 degree angle and you just go like this you hold your skin taut and what you'll start to notice is that you'll see a small little dead skin or sebum and just all the gunk come out you know it's very satisfying i use it in the shower this one's waterproof this one has no brand because i got it on amazon a while ago Ago. So yeah, just type in ultrasonic blackhead scrubber and you'll see a bunch come out. The thing is, you don't want to go really deep with this. Just gently kind of just scale your skin. It'll take off the top layer. Use it after showering when your skin and your oils and sebum and dead skin has sort of softened. It's quite satisfying and uh, really helps with uh, cleaning out your skin. I use this probably like once a week. It's very, very satisfying. Now, going into more advanced in my opinion, like things. This is an LED therapy mask from Eclair. I got this online. You hold this, one, two, turn it on. And it has the red light therapy. It has orange light, which I don't really know much about. And then it also has blue light. So what you do is you put on the eye guard, it comes with it. And then you just lie down and put this on for 15 minutes. I'll show you like that. Cool, right? If you have sensitive eyes, I would definitely say always use the eye guard. Sometimes I don't because I want to scroll on TikTok and Instagram, which is really, really bad. But it's quite useful, I think. It's quite inexpensive compared to a lot of these LED masks out there. I know Dr. Dennis Gross has one. A bunch of people have one for like $500 or like close to a thousand even. This one is 99. Obviously, it's not gonna fit your face as well as the one that looked like Iron Man masks. This one looks more like a welder mask, but red light therapy is known to sort of stimulate collagen production, kind of plump up the skin and brighten your complexion with constant use. It also helps with inflammation of the skin. So I use this every night actually and while my eyes are closed and I use this, it's kind of my time to meditate and unwind because you can't really do anything with your eye guards on. So I think it's a good tool also to kind of calm your mind and not be anxious for 15 minutes. If I'm breaking out, I will use the blue one, but typically I will just use the red light. I will link all these down below if you're interested. Okay, so we're getting into kind of like at-home lasers. Again, like these you want to be very cautious with and do patch tests and everything. This one is the Remington IPL. It's a, a hair removal laser. I have had this for five years now even before I moved up to Davis for school I was using this it's like a laser hair removal device and what IPL is is basically rays of I think intense light and what it does is the dark pigments capture the light more like darker colors and so what it does it just heats up the follicle and sort of damages the follicle so over time your hair growth will decrease so the perfect candidate for this device is fair skin and dark hair which is great for Asian people I think and uh, like East Asian light skin it's very dangerous in terms of like if you have medium to deeper richer skin tones your skin might absorb too much light and it might cause burns I've never had a problem with this but I did look on Amazon to check out other people's reviews and other people have kind of been burned so I don't necessarily recommend this because it is like a heavy-duty thing like it is a real device it is FDA approved so there is significant reduction in hair growth I use it around here 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 there are five levels so once you it turns on you kind of scan your skin tone and when it passes it lets you sort of start Beep, beep, beep. It hurts so much. It hurts so much. It's like a hot rubber band, like snapping your skin. So do I recommend it? Probably not. Does it work? Yes, it does on me. But do your research and um, really just do your research. I think I saw Susan Yara recently was sponsored by a newer kind of machine that is just handheld. There are a lot of smaller machines now for laser hair removal. I think it's the same IPL technology. Do your own research and the ones she had was just really quick and it just went over your skin like really fast. This is like old school, I think because it's so old, but I still use it because I never had any bad reactions. It just hurts a lot. I also notice a couple days after I use it, if I don't exfoliate with BHA, I will get ingrown hairs. If you shave often, you, you know the feeling of like a hair being trapped under. An ingrown hair is not fun. It really isn't. Next on my list is this 
the new face device. New face has been around for a long, long time. I was sent this one. I have the red light therapy attachment. So quite similar to that mask, but it is quite a small surface area. It's quite cumbersome to use and the results aren't like amazing. So I don't know about this attachment. It comes with another attachment, which is the two kind of like balls. And what it does, it sort of is microcurrent therapy. And you put a conductive gel that transfers the microcurrent and you sort of go upwards and makes your face lift higher. I just ran out of the gel. I don't find myself gravitating towards it at all. I feel like it's quite annoying to use. I have heard that it works really, really well for me. It does, yeah, it lifts like a tiny bit. It does feel nice, but putting on a gel, then washing off the gel kind of makes my skin feel kind of irritated. But if you need some sort of lifting, I noticed that the lifting that's happening is quite temporary, but probably if you use it a lot, you know, it definitely will help, right? Like fight gravity and whatnot. I mean, if your skin is in constant state of liftness, I'm sure it helps in some way, you know? But if you get Botox or filler, you should ask your doctor if you should be using any microcurrent devices just in case, I feel like. Also, I used it on my hair once without the gel, I think. Like, it touched my hair and I got shocked. So it was quite alarming and probably another reason why I don't gravitate towards my new face devices, but it, that's just user error, that's my fault. I don't find myself gravitated towards it, though things might change in the future when I probably need more of a lift. All right, this is one of the last devices that I have. This is the Tria Skin Smoothing Laser. It used to be called the Tria Anti-Aging Laser. I get why they changed it. Like anti-aging is probably not a word that people use that much anymore. Like aging is bad, you don't age. I, I, I get it, like I completely think skin smoothing is better than anti-aging, like everybody ages. So this laser is a non-ablative laser. What it does is basically creates like little beams that create microscopic disruptions let's just say, in the skin. Much like microneedling, it just promotes skin regeneration and collagen production, and it heats up the skin, so then I think the inflammation will cause some sort of response from the body to regenerate itself. My experience with this is that it hurts a lot. There are three levels, you charge it on the stand, and you just go over like, it just lasers your skin. It makes my dark spots come up more, and then the more I use it, the dark spots go away. Like, they slowly kind of like, surface. I do use this quite often. I use this once a week. The first time when you use this, they recommend it to use it for five times a week in four weeks and have two day breaks. I tried that. My skin was really, really raw. My pores were enlarged and looked like leather. But I feel like maybe that's the whole resurfacing aspect. I, I had to stop because my skin was getting really, really beat up. So I would say if you do end up using it maybe twice a week and see how your skin reacts first and start with the lowest setting, which is number one. I go to number three now and I use once a week. It's also FDA clear. Just do patch test if you buy this. This I bought on sale on Nordstrom. I think originally the price is 400 something. But these days, I don't know if they're discontinuing it or they're newer models. You can find them online for two, three hundred. If you are concerned with pain, like inflicting pain on yourself and stuff like that, I would just recommend to go to a doctor, a dermatologist. But with things like the massage tools or like Ferreo, you know, or just like basic microneedling, I think you could do it at home. No problem. Just make sure everything is sanitized, sanitary. Make sure you are patch testing. Make sure you read up on these devices before trying. Don't just take my word for it. You know, this is my personal anecdotal experience and it shouldn't be taken as evidence. But yeah, I really hope I introduced some of these products to you to sort of pique your interest into these things. Like I said, you don't really need these things. A humidifier is probably the best skincare tool for breathing and also just in general. So, you know, I think it worked pretty darn well. Any Anything else is just, like I said, extra. If you can afford it, you want to splurge, you want to play with skincare more, why not? If you are concerned about aging or, you know, concerned about getting older, it's a legitimate concern. I get it. You can try out these products if you, you want to. All right. Thank you so much. This is my review for these products. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. It really, really helps. And thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what other skincare videos you want me to create. I will try my best to review them. And uh, don't forget to take care of yourself. Remember, skincare is not about being perfect. It is about, you know, your own wellness and having the time to sort of decompress and uh, take care of yourself. And yeah, nobody's perfect. Nobody's skin is perfect. I will see you guys next time. I love you.
thanks for all the mentions on stories by the way it really means a lot and um, yeah it really helps thank you guys I see you and I love you bye